Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. Today we have an Easter haul as well as an Easter decorate with me. How I actually style these pieces in my own home. I didn't pick up a ton of new Easter decor this year, so I'll be using a combination of new decor that I did pick up from all of my different Easter shop with me's, as well as older decor that I have and have loved from years past that I've kept and held on to. So that is what we have going on today. I wanted to show you all in one video what I got and exactly how I plan to style it. Around my home I'm gonna be doing like really really light Easter touches and then in Bryn's room I have some really cute things planned especially for her bookshelves so we have it all wrapped up in one video we're gonna jump into the haul portion starting with all of the new items I picked up and I'm also gonna show you some of the items that I've had from the past years that I'm gonna be using in this video as well so let's jump in so jumping into all of the new items I purchased this year, I have tons of Target Dollar Spot finds from the old and new items. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump in with what I picked up at Target. So the first two things I picked up are two of these concrete bunnies. These are for actually from the outdoor seasonal section and they were 50% off. So I got these on clearance. And I don't know, I just really, really loved them. They are large and I just liked the very like minimalist look of them. Like you can definitely tell that they're a bunny. I can use them indoors or outdoors doors and I thought that they'd be really nice for our office space because I have a lot of like grays in there and different stone textures and when I saw these I just felt like I had to pick them up these are the rabbit statuaries I think I got them for like seven dollars each I think they were originally maybe fifteen dollars so when I saw these I knew I had to grab them they had some really similar ones that I loved this year at home goods that were also technically made for outdoors but I just felt like they had such a high-end look I didn't end up grabbing the ones from home goods and I was super excited when I saw these. So snagged up both of these rabbit statuaries. They have a nice weight to them. They're really good quality. The other item I picked up from Target from the like normal home decor section is this set of bunnies. I love these. They are from Threshold. They just like have that really nice glazing effect. You're gonna see in the bunnies that I've kept for years and years, they all are very, very similar to this set. And I just loved how they were in all four different poses. I can break them up and use them all over my house just to add in that really slight Easter pop that I'm trying to go for. This set was $15 for the four bunnies. I felt like that was a good price. It's exactly what you'd pay if you were to break them down and buy them in the Target dollar spot. So I knew that I needed to bring the set home with me for this year. And these are something that I'm gonna keep for a really long time. Then I did also pick up several items from the Target Dollar Spot, all for Bryn's room. So these little chicks, oh my gosh, these flocked chicks are just the cutest thing I've ever seen. They come in so many different colors. I picked up three of them. I got the like sage mint green, the yellow, and the pink. These also have a good weight to them and they have these like little feet and the little beak and the face. They're just so cute. Look at these. Oh my goodness. When I saw these, it was an immediate add to cart. I think they are adorable and they're going to look so cute in Bryn's room. I did also pick up this like bunny frame. It has the fabric on the inside that has the nice florals. I feel like it's a lot of the same colors that I'm going to be using all throughout her room. So I picked this up for $3 and these bunnies were only a dollar. That's such a steal. I feel like the quality of these are really, really good. These were going really fast. They also came in blue I also think they came in purple so they came in a ton of different colors but these are the ones that I grabbed the next items I picked up in the Target dollar spot are the Easter pillows I really really like these I love using the Target dollar spot pillows for outdoors so I'm gonna be using these on my outdoor furniture on my front patio last year I did a lot of like pink and green this year's I'm doing a lot of like blues also with pinks and florals so really excited to put these outside I loved this like dusty blue piping that I have all along the edge I just feel like it's gonna go really well with the items that I picked up from other stores for outdoors this year And I just loved these so I had to pick them up This one is embroidered with these like really pretty flowers And then I loved that this one was printed on both sides I always feel like that makes it feel a bit more high-end these were five dollars each So I do toss them at the end of each season because typically like it rains a lot here Especially in the spring it starts to rain every single day So I don't really feel bad tossing them after each season because they were only five 
$25. And then the last items I picked up in the Target dollar spot are these little concrete bunnies. Again, just really felt like they fit with the vibe I was going for. These are so nice. Let me show these to you. They have so much great detail on them. These were only a dollar a piece and they are super heavy. I definitely feel like all of the collections in the Target dollar spot or just any collection, there are hits and misses as quality goes in my opinion everything is subjective as far as like if you like it style wise but i just felt like these were really good quality and i feel like they go really well with these like bigger cement bunnies that i got they're like the same kind of like cement <laughs> plaster material so i did pick up one they came in one in each pose they came in three different poses so there's like standing with the arms up standing with the arms down and then this one is sitting so i picked up one each of these and i know that i'll be able to find so many places to stick them next we're going to move into the items i picked up from home goods and i think all of these are for brin's room they're just so sweet you're gonna see really matching repeating colors to what i showed you from the target dollar spot the first one being this little bunny i loved the texture on the dress the little flowers she has this really really sweet face with like the flower in her hair and the basket i just loved this so much this was 12.99 i think i might have found this in the checkout aisle so, some of these items I found in the checkout aisle and they match perfect to what I already had in my hand. I bought these so long ago, but I absolutely love this. So I picked that up for Bryn's room. To match that, I found these two eggs and they definitely did come in other colors and patterns, but I was obsessed with these. You have to see all of the details. So I have these like really nice floral details and are those pineapples? They look like pineapples to me. Um, I just thought this was so perfect. I love the flowers. I love the pink. The material is really nice. These were $5.99 each. Also picked it up in this sage color that has like these really pretty large flowers. So huge fan of both of these and they go really well with this bunny. You can see all of the matching colors. So I just thought these were perfect for Bryn's room and in the future I can definitely use these in other areas of my home if I wanna use more color and do more color in the future. But I don't know, it might just stay in Bryn's room. <laughs> Another thing I liked about these is that they are pretty lightweight. Like they feel like good quality, but they're light enough that I can put them on like a floating shelf or on like her other shelves or areas that she can reach. And if she's able to like grab them, they aren't super breakable. Like I can sit here and whack them together and they don't break. So that's what I'm looking for these days. <laughs> Lastly, from Home Goods for Bryn's room, I picked up two of these crochet egg garlands. These were $12.99 a piece. I wanted to do garlands on her bookshelf. So I picked up two strands. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. I haven't done garlands on her bookshelves before, but I picked up two just to be safe. These are 72 inches long each and the colors are so perfect. I just love the pastels. I loved the like crocheted material of the eggs. And I don't know, when I saw these, also another checkout aisle find. Don't skip the checkout aisle if you can. My like local home goods, you can't just like peruse the checkout aisle because the line is always like, I'm not even kidding, like 50 people deep. Anyone who lives in my area, you know the home goods that I'm talking about. It's always like 50 people deep and you can't just peruse the checkout aisle unless you like are getting in line to buy something and maybe you find some extra gems. But I was at a different home goods that is not as busy and I found these hidden and I snagged them up. I just know Bryn's room is gonna look so cute and I can't wait to put all of these decorations. I did also pick up a ton, ton of Easter books. We love books. We love reading to Bryn. She also loves books. Um, so I picked up a ton of like see, touch, feel books, push, pull, slide books, different like Easter stories, how to catch the Easter bunny, really fun books like that for her bookshelves. The last items I picked up new for this year for outdoors are this doormat so this just says happy easter i thought this was so pretty i love the flowers and like the hot pink this is from kirkland's and i think i got this for like ten dollars they were having like a sale on doormats and then an additional like 20 percent off i know that people always feel like kirkland's is really expensive but they always have so many coupons going on whether you buy online and get it shipped to your house buy online and pick up in store or just go and shop in store they always 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 have coupons and typically their sales are stackable so i picked up this format i absolutely love it i did also grab a little rug to go underneath it that is like a dusty blue plaid i have to go pick it up from the store i totally forgot it slipped my mind so when Bryn wakes up we're gonna go and pick that up but i got that as well so you will see that in the styling portion and then also for outside i picked up 
a ton of these metal tulips from Hobby Lobby. I ended up grabbing eight of them. So I got two purple, two blue, two pink, and two yellow. And I thought these would be really cute to line our walkway. I wanted to do it last year and then I waited too long to buy the tulips and they sold out. So when I saw these come out this year, I snagged them. They are $4.99 each, but the Easter stuff was already 40 or 50% off. So they were super affordable. I did get a comment in my Hobby Lobby shop with me that someone said they faded really, really bad. So I'm actually going to spray these with a clear spray paint and see if I can't kind of, you know, stop that from happening. So definitely will report back. But you will see in the video that I'm going to spray these down with a clear spray paint. I think I have one already in the garage, so I'm just going to use whatever I have. And we'll see if we can't stop them from getting ruined and hopefully I can use them again next year. But I'm really, really excited about these. I think they're going to look so adorable. So those are all of the new items I picked up to decorate for Easter this year. Now some of the items that I have from years past that I've kept and I love lots of bunnies. So we're going to kind of like fly through those. I have a hair on my nose and a hair in my hand. <laughs> But this bunny, I wish I would have got more of these. I don't know if these came out last year or the year before, but they're this like striped artisanal glazed bunnies from Threshold. And I love this bunny so much. It's my absolute favorite. This was $15. I don't know which year it came out. You can look for these on like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. People do like resell old decor items. So you can look for these. I think I might be looking for a few more as well, but grabbed this, absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be using this again this year. So Similar, also from Threshold, I know this is from last year for sure, this candy jar. And this has that same like, I don't know, kind of like glazing effect where you can see the brown kind of poking through. And I just love that. I just feel like it looks super high end. It reminds me of something you'd find at like Pottery Barn in their Easter collection. But this was, I think $10 last year. Nice little candy bowl for like jelly beans, M&Ms, whatever you wanna have. Um, you could do like Reese's eggs. Let me know down below what is your favorite Easter candy. Mine is definitely Cadbury mini eggs, like the little chocolate mini eggs, not like the caramel or the cream ones. I don't like those. I haven't bought any this year, not yet. I'm, I'm gonna wait until like the week of Easter to buy absolutely any Easter candy, but we do have some M&Ms, so that's what's gonna go in this guy's belly. A few other bunnies that I have that you may see pop up in the video, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna use yet, are these white ceramic bunnies. These are from the Target Dollar Spot last year, I believe. These were only $3. Look how nice these are. These are so nice. The ceramic ones that I picked up are, in my opinion, the best ones they had in the dollar spot this year. Some of the other ones are like iridescent. It just kind of like depends on your style. But these are from a past year and I think these are super nice. Also from, I think last year in the Target dollar spot are these gold bunnies. And I have these in two different poses. So I'm gonna be using these to decorate for Easter. They did have gold bunnies this year as well. I feel like the quality was pretty similar. This is the $5 version, so the largest. I don't think I ever found any this large of the gold this particular year, but I know they have a one and a $3 size. So if you're looking for gold bunnies, they do have some in the Target dollar spot Easter collection this year, which they are currently restocking. You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I did not get any Easter pillows this year. So I'm not gonna be adding any more throw pillows to my couch. I recently just did a home decor refresh and got a ton of new throw pillows. But one pillow that I have from last year that you might see pop up probably in Bryn's room is this embroidered bunny pillow. This is from Threshold several years ago. I might end up using this outside because it does have some stains on the back. I think that my dog used it as a chew toy, like shaped pillows he thinks are toys for him. So you might end, end up seeing this actually outside and then I'll just get rid of it after this year. I think I've had this for like three years. So it's definitely, you know, been well loved and well used, but it's just so pretty. Like look at all the embroidered aspects. I love all the colors of the flowers. So I'm gonna use this somewhere. I'm gonna give it one more year. I also have a few different florally type items. So I have this like little egg tree. I might use this in Bryn's room or I'll use it outside. And then this I used last year in Bryn's room. It's just like a little bunny planter and it has these like faux pink tulips. This was I believe from Home Goods last year. And then this is from the Target dollar spot. They do have little egg trees in the Target dollar spot this year. Um, I think that the vases of them are really nice. They have like concrete vases. I think that's super nice, but I think the egg trees, like the tree with the eggs, the top part was nicer in past years. So that's why I didn't pick up any of the ones from this year. These are two other older styles from the Target dollar spot of bunnies that I've kept. So the green ones, they did not come out with these this year, which I was super surprised about, as well as this like wooden looking bunny. 
So this is what this looks like. This is the $5 size. I think I might have this. I also have this in, I'm just like pulling from my Easter toe. I just have one toe of like spring and Easter stuff, but I also have this in the smaller sizes. So you might see these pop up around our house somewhere as well. I have lots of bunnies and I don't know if I'm gonna use these, but I also have these woven bunnies. These are from Threshold, I think like two or three years ago when my style was like more boho. I did use these last year and I might end up using them again. So I wanted to show them to you. And I think that's pretty much it i do have like a threshold bunny shaped um cutting board that they do have again this year they have like a bunny shape and an egg shape so if you're looking for that i'll try to have everything that i can linked down below but those are the items that i have from past easters and new items that i picked up that you are going to see me use to transform my home for easter and that is the haul now we're going to get into how i'm actually going to style these pieces hope that i can give you guys a little bit of inspiration whether you want to go full out easter and really decorate and have it be like super colorful or if you just want to add in minimal pops i'm going to be able to give you some styling and decorating ideas on both ends of the spectrum. Let's jump into the decorating. I'm so excited to finally be adding in just some really minimal Easter pops all throughout different areas of my home. Emphasis on minimal outside and in Bryn's room, I like to do more like colorful in your face decorating, but around my house, if it's not Christmas, I like to keep things pretty minimal. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. So I'm just kind of adding in little bunnies here and there, little cutting boards, keeping it extremely functional. I've definitely learned that over my years of decorating, prioritizing decorating over things actually being functional just honestly leads to a headache for me personally. I have added in different spaces like my butler's pantry shelf here. This was a really easy way for me to add in like a purely decorative space where I could really play with the decorations, let my imagination soar, have a little bit more fun with it. Whereas in spaces like my kitchen and on my countertops, I really need those spaces to operate at 100% functionality. Like the space behind me that you can't see is our butler's pantry countertop and it is 100% functional it is not cute or decorative at all it just houses all of our small appliances like Bryn's bottle sterilizer her bottle maker um, our toaster coffee maker those types of things so it's nice to have these really fun decorations on this side of the wall that I can play with and keep the functional areas functional unless it's Christmas you guys know Christmas I really do go all out but the other holidays I just like to keep it more minimal and that's okay One of my favorite areas to decorate for the different seasons and just kind of refresh multiple times a year is our front porch. I just love this space so much. I just want it to be like fresh and clean and nice and inviting because it is what you see obviously when you are approaching our house or walking by. And I just always like to have it nice and festive. I feel like it just kind of adds a lot to the neighborhood and a lot of my neighbors are the exact same way. Everybody loves to decorate for the different seasons and I just love being surrounded by people who are as festive and just kind of like the same things that we do. I grabbed these pillows from the Target dollar spot. I always grab the dollar spot pillows because they are just really affordable. Most of the time the materials are perfect for using outdoors. And then for the rest of the decor, I will be reusing some items that I've had from past Easter's. This pink vase 
piece I actually got from the Walmart dollar shop and I used it to make a floral arrangement for Bryn's birthday party. And then the eucalyptus stems I just had in my decor arsenal, if you wanna call it that. This pillow is also something that I had from a past Easter. I think my dog might have used it as a chew toy last year, but for some reason I held on to it and I just decided to give it one more year, so added that out here as well. I did go ahead and replace our doormat and I ordered, I swear, I ordered a new mat for underneath that was like a blue checkered pattern and when I went to go pick it up they were like we don't have your order so you know what I'm just gonna reuse the one that I have I think I'm gonna order a pink one though um, maybe off of Amazon you can get the same rugs there on Amazon just so that I can use it for Valentine's Day and then spring next year and then the last item I will be adding and please don't pay any attention to our grass I don't know what is going on with that. It's part of our HOA where they're supposed to do like lawn maintenance, but our whole grass situation is looking a little bit rough right now. But anyways, I grabbed these metal tulips from Hobby Lobby. I really wanted to do this last year, um, but then I missed out and they sold out. So right when I saw them this year, I picked them up and someone had mentioned that theirs had faded so bad. So I had some clear spray paint, decided to just go ahead and see if maybe I could kind of protect them a little bit from the sun. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll report back and let you guys know if the clear spray paint kind of save the coloring on these they do get a lot of direct sunlight so uh, you know if they do get ruined and I can't use them again next year at least I tried and they were pretty affordable Saving what I think we will all agree is the best space for last, which is Bryn's room. This is just always one of my favorite spaces to decorate. I just feel like I can really let my inner child go really rampant in here. It is currently decorated for St. Patrick's Day. Because the two holidays are so close together this year, I wanted to be able to really enjoy it. There goes the camera. This is the culprit behind the camera pulling, but it's okay because she's really cute. Back to the decorations. I did have it decorated for St. Patrick's Day. We of course kept the books out and we will be reading them to her throughout the next few days. But I also really wanted to be able to enjoy the Easter decorations. I don't like when Easter is in March. I much prefer it to have its own month in April. But either way, we will be enjoying these Easter decorations probably for the next few weeks. I was excited to add on these garlands. I actually got them from home goods in the checkout aisle i haven't done garlands on the bookshelves before but they look so cute so it's definitely something i'm going to be doing now for each of the different holidays and seasons i did pick up two strands of garlands i think you guys will need to let me know in the comments but i think in the future i want to pick up three bryn was trying to grab the camera again <laughs> all my facial expressions i was like like begging her to not rip the camera down <laughs> so funny um but anyways, adding back on these garlands, I just think they look absolutely adorable. I, of course, had to mess with them a little bit to kind of get, like, the placement right. But I think that they turned out so cute. And I think what I was saying is in the future, I think I want to get three strands of garland and do one on the side and then one on the tops and bottoms. But once you see them fully decorated, let me know if you think I need to, in the future, get three strands of each garland. I just, I'm really excited for you guys to see the end product because I think that these shelves came out absolutely adorable. tiny chicks from the target dollar spot they just have to be my favorite thing from this year like once i actually started decorating they were just absolutely perfect i am in love with them i'm hoping that maybe i'll find them one more time for easter i've noticed that they've been restocking some of the easter items so if i can find those i think i want to grab a few more for next year they're just the absolute cutest and the quality was so good for only a dollar adding on the second strand of garland i kind of wasn't really sure if i 
wanted to do it in the middle or on the top or the bottom, I ended up doing it here on the bottom, but I just feel like I need one more strand for the top. I know I'm not gonna find another strand of this egg garland. If I do, I will absolutely snag it, but I think in the future I want to add a third one to the top, but maybe you guys think it might be too much. I I think the end product ended up coming out really, really cute. Now I'm adding in all of my Easter books. We have so, so many different Easter books. We have so many books for all of the different holidays. It keeps reading time with Brynn fun and fresh as well. Two that we love that we just got are these like Never Touch a Grumpy Bunny books. They are a Sea Touch Feel book and then this Happy Easter Bunny. It's like a soundboard book. So those are both really fun and interactive. Brynn is super into books like that right now but honestly you can't go wrong target has a ton of great books amazon any store that you go to even walmart had a ton of really great books for all of the different holidays over the last year that i've noticed and then the last thing i always like to do is add on a few seasonal outfits these are just like some cute pastel pieces that i know she'll wear over the easter season and I think those perfectly finish off the shelves. I did also build this little bookshelf that I've added to her room. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but like I said, she just has so many books and I don't even keep the out of season books out, like Halloween, Christmas, those books are away. So just know that she has so many. She just recently got this basket from a friend for her birthday. It's so adorable, it's embroidered with her name. I just put these really cute pastel carrots that are actually from the Target Dollar Spot like three or four years ago in that basket and then just a few other little seasonal Easter items that are not breakable. I added those to the top here as well. Well, there you have it there is my 2024 Easter haul and decorating I know it's pretty minimal I just feel like I've been so busy in the season of life with Brynn she is running around super active now so I just have to be realistic with what I can actually handle decorating wise but thank you guys so much for being here I hope you guys found inspiration I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time bye guys